If you tell me I can't achieve something, I'm gonna show your ass that I can. You know, that's, I mean, to be honest, that's what I do. You know, I, I prove people wrong. In my experience, I feel like there aren't a lot of entrepreneurs that look like me because sometimes it can be tough. I think a lot of times they don't know where to start um, and then they are afraid to ask questions. For some strange reason, we live in this world where women, black women, feel like they have to know everything. I know that I was like that. I was afraid to let other people know where I needed help. You know, I felt like I needed to be my own accountant, be my own lawyer, be my own mentor. You don't have to do that. You know, there are people that can definitely help you and assist you. Joining Mortar was huge for me back in 2015. And so I just was praying that the questions that I had, the, you know, the things that I were very uncertain about, that Mortar could assist me. Being a part of Mortar feels like I have an extended family but it's a family that can actually help me on the business side. So being able to come into you know, the mortar and sit down with people who have experienced um, areas that I'm trying to become more familiar with, that, that definitely helps me. Just, it's really just being able to come to your family and say, hey, this is what I need assistance with. Can you assist me? You know, how can I grow? A lot of people don't know this, but I literally watched the store from my phone um, because I have this fear that it's gonna be taken away from me. That keeps me up at night. Um, and then just every day coming to work and just making sure that I'm executing and doing what I'm supposed to do. Like the, just the thoughts of maybe feeling like I'm not doing something right or I could be doing something better. I think it only happens because yeah, I am on the street with bigger businesses. So you want to still have that same aesthetic. You want to still have that same flow. You want to be respected. Um, and those are things that keep me up at night. I am a worry ward and I do overthink. And so yeah, that keeps me up at night. <laughs> you did that on purpose. <laughs> I believe that this neighborhood, as well as the nation, needs more black-owned businesses because it showcases that as, as a black woman, that we can be taken serious, that we can handle our business, that we can execute like all these other businesses within any neighborhood, um, especially this one. When I'm leaving the store and I'm ending my night here at on lane, I'm still having to go home and work. And now I'll start to work on getting everything together for the fashion show that is coming up in July. All these different things are now rotating in my mind because this is now my second job that's that's kicking in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm getting home and then I'm having to get Harlem settled down, feed her again, figure out what I'm gonna eat. You know, and that's if I do eat, cause I'm not gonna lie, half of the time I only eat once a day. I can honestly say sometimes I tell myself I'm gonna lay down. I'm just gonna lay down for about 10, 15 minutes. And before I know it, I'm waking up at six o'clock in the morning because I've crashed. Most of the times your parents are taught to get up and go to work every day. That's the, that's the right way. I think people get so caught up of feeling like they have to follow suit of other people's dreams, goals. Um, and I, I want Harlem to to see her mom be fearless. I want Harlem to see her mom even struggle. Struggle in a sense of knowing that at the end of the struggle, there is success too. You know, struggle for some people could be something that's really bad. Struggle for me has just been uh, executing and getting things done. It's, it's a challenge having Miss Harlem with me every day. It's a challenge because I sometimes feel like I could definitely, uh, I could definitely accomplish a lot more if she wasn't with me, you know? Um, like, oh, I just need an hour. If I could just get an hour, Harlem, then I could do this and do that. You know, I have those moments where I get frustrated, but Harlem has literally been with me through this whole process. She's watching me every day. You know, they always say your first couple years, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna do some dumb things, of course. So I'd rather take the risk for myself than somebody else. And of course, you know, I could fail, but I ultimately feel like 
I'm a failure if I don't try. I'm a failure if I don't ask for help. I'm a failure if I don't continue to educate myself. Then I will become a failure. But then if I failed in the aspect of it just doesn't work or it just didn't go the way that I expected it to go, I can always tell myself that I still tried. So in my mind, I feel like I'll never really be a failure because I still went for it.